destined for the marvel of the oatmeal. The classic Al Yankovic bit comes to life during it. Plus, Grace Helbig dared to occupy Oktoberfest. She familiarized herself with alcohol brewing, alcohol drinking, and alcohol poisoning. Oh, the last one's a doozy. Then we sobered Grace up and dropped her onto the set of The Walking Dead in Atlanta. That's a zombie. Too much fun. I had too much fun too. I really you know, did. We had just danced three this week. And you week. just danced your heart out. I just danced. You were yeah, shucking, you were jabbing, you were moving. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> um, one thing we did see that was pretty uh, incredible this week was you covered head to toe in oatmeal. Yeah! That my, was a vision. That was my favorite day on Attack so far. Really? Since yeah. January? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was just so much fun. I mean, wrestling Sarah Underwood in a big vat of oatmeal. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. No, you oh, haven't. I'm so sure, Kevin. Oh! oh! Every time. It's <laughs> a good shirt for it. It is a great shirt for it. So, uh, Kevin. Anyway, continue. Go. I just love that that sounds just so commonplace. <laughs> That's like the word of the word of the day here. I love that. It is. Um, yeah. Are you, are you good? Did you get all the oatmeal out of your sinuses? Um, and out of no, your I'm other... still I'm still snorting it out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I found a piece in my ear. And look at this. Oh yeah. That's from Sarah. Cat scratch. You're I'm out. sorry. She Candace. did that to me. What it's happened okay. there? What happened there? I, we got get out of hand. You know, it just happens, and I'm sorry, Candy. It's okay. It's alright. Do right. you have any I'm proud of it. No. Oh, okay. So Candace was <laughs> Candace was a gentle lover. She was. She was a good wrestler. I tried to be. I was not a good friend. No, you were. Oh, hey, everybody. By accident. the way, Sarah Underwood is here. She's. Hey, oh. Could you tell us what is going on in this crazy world of ours? Sure. Yeah, I'd like to do that. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank you. Sweet. We will have an update on the computer virus that's infected a bunch of our military drones. Oh. Plus, we'll show you some of the most entertaining responses people have seen from Apple's new personal assistant, Siri. All coming up later in the feed. But first, let's go back to Kevin and Candace. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Are you going to maul Candace again or no? Mauler? Yeah. Are you going? To... No. I mean, not unless you want me to. Yes. Maul me? You're not going to maul <laughs> me. Like, no, I'm not going to maul you. Okay. Kevin, no. <laughs> I don't obviously. I just, I mean, she's bleeding. Yeah. It's, it's not bleeding. It's just a scratch, and I'm kind of proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue to show it off. All right, that's it's all. your war wounds. Although I didn't win, it, it was well deserved. Well, everybody Sarah. won. Well in deserved. That segment. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody won. Uh, also, a big winner this week, Miss Grace Helbig. She's great. She wore later hosen. Oktoberfest. Yeah, she was there. Drank uh, a lot of beer. She walked on 400 kegs. <laughs> That's a lot of Pretty kegs. Pretty incredible. She did stands on like 300 of them, so <laughs> she was hammered. Uh, and it was the largest Oktoberfest in North America. It happens in Canada, which I feel like that shouldn't happen in Canada. That should happen here. It should happen at Attack of the Show. The good, oh, yeah. <laughs> Guten Tag! I'm in Kitchener, Waterloo, Canada for the biggest Oktoberfest celebration in North America. Beer? Yeah. Schnitzel? Yeah. Sauerkraut? Yeah. Oktoberfest. It's not just for drinking anymore. Oktoberfest is nine days, 700,000 people, 18 beer halls that hold 4,000 people, and how many designated drivers are here? Zero. I guess I'm it. <laughs> Traditional fashions here at Oktoberfest are called Trachten, 
The men wear... Lederhosen. And the women wear... Dundles. And I'm not wearing any of that. So I'm here at Erica's Bavarian Fashions to get outfitted in the best costume here in Oktoberfest. Makeover, 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 makeover. This is a dirndl. This is what all the women back at Prince Ludwig's wedding wore in 1810. Don't know what I'm talking about? Read a book. Let me try something else on. Whoosh. I'll be the same. We're at Concordia Hall, and this is the first best hall to celebrate Oktoberfest in Canada. And if you want to see how big it is, just turn around. Whoa! Over 4,000 people come here to eat, drink, and play games. There's three banquet halls. It's huge. There's so much to see, and you know what? I'm going to see it all. Auf Wiedersehen! You got me. I'm downstairs at the Concordia Fest House. I'm in the room where hangovers are made. And just to give you an idea of how much beer they actually consume here, they go through about 400 kegs in uh, three days. Look at me. I'm like the Scrooge McDuck of beer. Molson. the Vice President of the Concordia Club, and he's going to explain some of the beers that they have on tap for us. We've got, I believe, uh, six, eight beers here on tap uh, for the public. We've got a couple of Canadian beers and a lot of traditional German beers. All right, this one, we're just doing a little shot glass. I can taste nuts. That's what she said. This is the Cremor. That's yeah, brewed in north, and a little bit north of here. More of a honey, a sweeter taste. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. This is, I think a lot of ladies probably order this beer. Now this is a completely different taste. This is the wheat-based beer. Wheat-based, okay. Lots of yeast in it. Whoa, yeah, that is very yeasty. You might need some vegetable when you drink this one. I can't believe all that's happened at Oktoberfest. I'm only halfway there. So tune in tomorrow to see the other half. I gotta go. There's about 4,000 people I have to drive home tonight. You need a ride? Hey guys, this is Nick. I'm an associate producer here at Attack. Coming up, we got Around the Net. This week we had quite a few animals or dicks videos. One in particular was this penguin who stumbled upon an unsuspecting seal. And uh, yeah, the penguin was a dick. You'll see what happens. Stick around. television here's like public access we sent it right down the middle no 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 no, no because this right was one middle. of my favorite around the net videos oh well, that there we'd was shown. which one was it the uh it's the one with the turkey and the reporter and the turkey <laughs> gobble, 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 yeah. over. Well, let's, like let's watch it <laughs> okay no oh my god <laughs> okay um oh my god okay go away go away go away <laughs> Oh my god, what do I have? I don't have a stick. Holy crap, um, I mean, Alright, go! 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 Okay. I'm gonna put this one down now. Mm. 
That was pretty incredible. I love that. I love that the reporter is there doing an investigation on why these turkeys are. Oh my God, it's true. They are aggressive. <laughs> They're hurting people. I hope this video and she doesn't makes even it have back. a weapon. <laughs> it needs why a weapon. She... It's a turkey. <laughs> turkeys are aggressive. You have feet. Clearly. Did you we... have feet. <laughs> I just, I, I was it's on like the fence before. Film. I'm definitely going to start DVRing Terra Nova now. That looked amazing. <laughs> Those effects are pretty good. Look pretty That's good. Great. We also had a, an anime remix of uh, one of last year's most popular nature videos. It was a penguin doing its little march, mm -hmm. but they do, uh, and he jumps on Seal. Not the singer, a Seal. <laughs> and, uh, but it's and, okay. What's well, okay? The Seal doesn't attack. Well, thank it, goodness. In the remix, he kind of does. You oh, see it. well. This friend's found a way down. What? Yep. Have you just got that case, that case lying across the opposite? Penguin right on top of the seat. Did you get that? That looked threatening. Yeah. What do you think that penguin was thinking? Hmm? What do you think that penguin was thinking? That is clearly not a rock. <laughs> do you think it realized? <laughs> yeah, the moment the, the otter that started rock flipping might out of him or the seal or whatever the hell it was. Um, I imagine you do a similar thing if you get woken up in the middle of the night. I do. <laughs> do you just make guttural sea life noises? Yeah. With the one big eye. <laughs> no, why? Why? You had trouble lining it up in studio when we redid it. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble. What with happened that? there? I don't know. I was. I was. I, I don't know. Just oh, open your mouth. I'll put in the effect again. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Try it. I, I swear they will. Mm, I promise they will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Kevin. Okay. <laughs> It was worth a shot. <laughs> You'll put something else in there. And that ain't gonna happen. <laughs>Let's hop right into this because I know you can't wait to talk about it. Favorite game. I can't wait to hear you talk about it. Just Dance 3, the latest from Ubisoft's party game series. Uh, Blair, tell me, what are we getting in this title? What aren't we getting in this title, Kevin? Right? What aren't we getting? <laughs> 45 new hits from the Billboard charts, wait, including Katy Perry. Entirely new tracks? 45 oh, entirely, yeah, Daft Punk, Katy Perry. Hold on, you had me at yeah. Daft. Things that, you, things that you can read in a magazine, <laughs> like things that you read about in, in one of those magazines that review this stuff. Um, listen, it was originally a Nintendo Wii title, but they, was, they were all like, hey, we should make more money. Right, and so, they're like, we, we, could, we could certainly have fun with this, and we will, but this game sold a bazillion copies. Yeah, I mean, Just Dance 1 and 2 is, I don't want to call it a sleeper hit because everybody apparently owns right. one that owns a Wii, but... but Played at sleepovers, don't uh, you? Not, can't talk about okay. that parole violation. Um, can't talk about my sleepovers. But uh, they decided, look, let's make it with the Connect, right? right? Which is obviously a no-brainer. However, Connect has a pretty sweet game in Dance Central, so I don't know if that's a, ris a risky move or not. Um, but, well, you know. I mean, how is the game? And, and, and let's not talk about it. I think we should we should show and tell. Yeah! Do you know what I mean? Shabow. I mean, we got move to the look. Well, let's just do that. Oh. Yeah. So now, now that nobody is paying any attention to uh -huh. a single word we're saying, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, anything else you want to add about the game? Sure, I would love to, Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, the motion tracking is more accurate. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you yeah, can track that motion. motion. Yeah, you know what I'm like that right there. Um, you can actually track your legs and your feet. Girls, we're trying to talk about what's Sorry. really in this game right now, okay? You Sorry, guys just dance. Just dance three. Uh, it's not for the ladies, but you actually, if you were to raise it up uh, to the highest difficulty, you would actually break a sweat, which is pretty cool. Um, if you, uh, also, for those of you at home, this is the exact opposite way you want to play this game. If you want to be successful, whatever. Um, the Just Create mode uses a Kinect camera. You can actually choreograph and add your own moves to this game, which is pretty wow. awesome. My mind was already blown. You put it back into my head and then blew it out again. I am so sorry about what's happening right now. Um, Switch back over to the girls, by the way. Yeah, just, why just are you showing us? No one cares. Get that away from us. What, I mean, this is what we care Stop about. Stop looking at me. Um, and for the first time ever, you can play with four players, Kevin. What? Four players? Yeah, look at this. Oh, look at that. That's a good oh. thing they have their backup dancers. Yeah, and the connected, it, you know, it easily detects the dancers, so all you really need to do is jump in, dance, and play. Um, now, are they supposed to be doing different moves, or are they supposed to be doing the same moves? I think that we have four monitors set up. We're running four different four copies different of Just Dance 3. Um, oh. I gotta tell you, this is a lot creepier than when we rehearsed it because the hip-hop dancers look a little odd behind the two ladies in the front. I'm gonna be, I, I don't feel the slightest bit creepy watching them very intently on a monitor no. right now. Also, something to point out, girls, something we didn't uh, tell you about. There's also an unlockable you get a raise mode if you engage in a tickle fight at the end of this dance. That is true. Yeah. So if you guys just want to start tickling or... 
Also, we saw something at E3 this year. Two really pretty girls started kissing, and the world exploded yeah. into happiness <laughs> and rainbow. So, so that'd be sweet. And now, yeah. and but, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Kinect, because of its tracking abilities, it can tell, like, obviously, if you're doing certain moves, but it can also tell if you, like, remove an article of clothing and yeah, award an that achievement. Yeah, one of the more important things uh, if you, you do something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and as you can tell, too, by the scores up there, the guy in the back left is just an idiot and shouldn't be dancing, and his score is way lower, so they are individually tracking the moves. Oh, that's fantastic. So it's pretty sweet all well, the way around. I gotta be honest, I finished, so if no one else cares, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap this segment up. Break it, break it. Hey, Blair, hey. thanks so much, buddy. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Just Dance 3 is in the stores now. Okay, we were dancing together. We looked good. Sarah, we looked good. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. You yeah. looked good. Like, <laughs> I just have no rhythm at all, but that video game was good for me because it can teach me like something. Because I don't like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, what am I? Like, if I'm in a club, you yeah. Know, like my, oh, my you fist pump. You but fist then I'm pump? like, well, what do I do with my feet? And then whatever with my you hips, want. like, Sarah, I don't know what to do. You are not that uncomfortable. I am that bad, so this game could help me a lot. I don't well, know. you can come over and play it with me. Okay. Okay. Teach me some moves. Oh, yeah. No, 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 it's sports. Four, are you gonna? Four players, if oh. I can help. Are you gonna dance? You're gonna Sweetheart. actually dance? I'll bring it. You don't even know. Oh! I'll okay. dance like the rec center's on the line. Well, you can come over. I mean, I gotta, I gotta buy the video game first, but All right. we'll do it. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Done. All right. All right. We'll start the game. Huh? All the news you need to know. October 14th, and hey, let's talk about some news, huh? Yeah. yeah! Now, earlier in the week, we told you about the whole drone virus thingy going around. Okay, well, it turns out it wasn't anything from China or Iran. It most likely came from Mafia Wars. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Officials are now admitting that the keylogging malware that infected the U.S. fleet of unmanned aircraft was the same type of PC virus that spread through online gambling services and casual games. Meaning someone in the cockpit was playing Farmville on the clock. Our tax dollars hard at work, you turds. Oh, happy 4S day! Yeah! Apple's new iPhone has landed, and one of the coolest features is the intelligent voice assistant, Siri, and tech blogger Joshua Topolsky decided to do what we're all going to do and test Siri's ability to field some tough questions. Like, um, what's the meaning of life? Of course, it's 42, duh. Yay. But he also asked, where's a good place to hide a body? <laughs> Siri responded, what kind of place are you looking for? Reservoirs, metal foundries, swamps? <laughs> he even asked if he makes Siri horny, to which she responded, here's a list of escort services I found nearby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Siri may be the greatest invention of all time. <laughs> and finally, friend of the friend of the show, friend of the show, Alex Albrecht just put together a live action Voltron short. Oh. It features psych star Timothy Amundsen, and needless to say, we're huge fans of what he's done. So here's a taste. The unimaginable has happened. Voltron has failed. King Sarkon has won. Do your best to prepare for whatever horrors lie ahead. I can only hope that someday, somehow, Voltron will rise again to become the defender that this great universe deserves. Until that day, Godspeed. Good luck. Red Lion, out. dump trucks full of cash to make this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Sarah Underwood, and you've just been fed. Hey guys, it's Nick again. Coming up, we got two hot girls wrestling in oatmeal. That's right, Candace versus Sarah. You're going to want to check this out. It's awesome. And then after that, we have a uh, Walking Dead set visit. We were the first production to ever go visit the set, so that's pretty cool, and Grace Helbig's hilarious. So stick around. Beer? No, it's okay. You okay? Yeah. 
You want? No, no beer. Nope. No. I'm sorry, Graham, 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 Grandma, Grandpa, Grandpa. What do you call your old Granny. folks? Granny. Granny and Granddad. D. Grant. What? Granny, and Granddaddy. I don't care anymore. Um, <laughs> this week was filled with amazing, amazing things. Some um, of those things were tweets, and some of those tweets yes. were so amazing. Yeah. We have to read them right now. Let's do it. XX Huff XX said another crappy day at work, but at least I get to come home and watch AOTS during my favorite month, Evictober! Oh, Thanks, guys. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> it is. It's a great month. Evictober? Yeah, Are you kidding? Really, it is. It's yeah. like the best month ever. One of the best. The best. There you go. I said it. D. Volante said, at Grace Helbig, one Oktoberfest, and my heart. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, yeah. She's got some long legs, that yeah, Grace girl. got some gams. She does. You know what I'm saying? She's hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we've got uh, our Becca Blair said, we have no salesmen helping customers at my work due to an oatmeal wrestling match. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Could you blame any of them? Like, no. It was fun. I like to believe that some dude at a Best Buy put that segment on all the plasmas. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on there. I mean, what is move this? some product. <laughs> and now, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to find the marble in the oatmeal. Please welcome your host, Kevin Barrera. UHF one scene at a time, and why not start with the very best one? Ladies and gentlemen, you've asked for it, you've begged for it, you've pleaded for it. I have, no one else really has, but <laughs> who gives a damn? It's time for the marble oh, in the yeah. oatmeal! <laughs> Let's get into it. We're going to bring out our first contestant. Get ready for a little lady who will knock the cream out of your wheat. Throw your hands together for Sarah. Let's meet her opponent. Oh. It's the gal whose hopes are the same as her abs. Steel cut. Oh. Give it up for the lovely, the talented, Candace Bailey. Oh. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. Hold on, ladies. Hold the phone. All right, retract the claws, kittens. Retract the claws. How are you feeling, Sarah Underwood? I am feeling good, Kevin. Okay, all right. All right, I'm right here, Sarah Underwood. I am feeling good. I am ready to get that marble and whoop some boo! Wow. That is not gonna happen, Sarah Underwood. Oh, really? Candy pants? Oh, wow. Yeah, I got some candy pants on. Yeah! Oh, wow. Oh, we finished with a hand. Now, have you been have you been visualizing this moment, Candace Bailey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have. She's going down. I don't, I don't want to give away my secrets right now because she's going to find out what it's going to be like in the open. Okay. Right. Kevin, Kevin, let me tell you. All right. She has been visualizing me beating her. I have too. And whooping some ass. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, see, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not all talk. Oh, uh, no, well, let's, let's. Yeah, let's. Good. No, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Oh, I should have sold tickets. Um, yeah. Hidden in this giant sandbox of oatmeal 
is a marble, my friends. And you've got 90 seconds to find it and place it in the toy caboose. Okay. Now, if the time expires, the match will go into sudden death. Yeah. What does that mean? No one knows. We literally, <laughs> we did not think that far ahead. Okay. But hair pulling, clothes ripping, eye gouging, shots below the belt, Done. totally legal. Oh, and yeah. entirely encouraged. So uh, keep in mind, whoever wins will get the lucky cowboy hat and Ooh. a special surprise. Yeah. Are you ladies ready to kill? Yeah. Crush and destroy! Yeah. I can't believe it's about to happen. Let's find that marble. In three, two, two one! period. It's okay. Woo! Congratulations. Woo! How do you feel? Well, guess what, Miss Sarah Jean Underwood? What? You get to drink from the, the fire hose! That was way sexier than I remembered it being in the movie.
because my pants are too tight and I'm wearing kids Abercrombie jeans. <laughs> In unrelated news, tonight at 11, Iron Man and Wolverine continue their quest to defeat evil. Yay! You'd better lunch because there's a whole lot of evil in the Marvel anime universe. For character profiles and more info, head to g4tv.com slash Marvel. And don't forget, Marvel Anime X-Men starts on October 21st. Hey, it's Nick again. After the break, we got that Walking Dead set visit we've been talking so much about. Grace Helbig went down and visited the cast and uh, checked out that RV, and she did not have very nice things to say about the way it smelled. And the lucky winner is... George H. From... Kenan City, Colorado. Oh my god, I thought... Yay! I thought... Yay! I, really, I told you, I thought he or she was going to win it. I know you I did. Told you. you called that I one. I sure did. And today we're giving away a copy of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Ooh, look at the that. original Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Collector's Edition. 24 Kid Robot Street Fighter figurines. Wow. Plus... We'll throw in a limited edition Marvel vs. Capcom 3 fight stick yeah! and a couple of Street Fighter games because we're nice like that. Plus, if you act now, we're going to throw in, like, all right. <laughs> That's what always gets me. Uh, to enter, visit our website, g4tv.com slash epic giveaway. Get your entry in between now and Monday, October 17th by 3 p.m. Eastern, and we will announce the winner when? On, On Monday's, Monday's show. show. That's right. That's right. You got it. Well, you know, one of my favorite shows is returning to TV this weekend. The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. I love this show more than almost anything on TV. Why right do you now. heart it so much? I don't know. It's just so good. There's <laughs> just so much in it. There's like dead zombies everywhere, and then there's undead like, zombies. Yeah. But there's there's dead-ish, you know, because they kill them. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's dead zombies and there's undead zombies. It's great. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Uh, well, not only do you love it, but Grace Helbig Hi. went and chatted with the cast. Can I'm you believe so that? I'm so jealous. Woo! Grateful Dead fans of Atlanta get ready to trip out because I'm in the winds, man, and I'm about to. This is the RV front. Hey, Walking Dead fans of everywhere, get ready to trip out because I'm in the woods on the set of Walking Dead Season 2. I know where I am and why I'm here. AMC's Walking Dead starts off Season 2 with a 90-minute premiere on October 16th, and that's just one of 13 zombie-filled episodes this season. And we're here at base camp, right outside of Herschel Farm, so let's go where we're not supposed to. Hey, Rick. Hey, Lori. Threesome? No means yes. So can you tell us where this season takes us? Well, we pick up right where we left off last year. But while we don't have a home base, the world of The Walking Dead proves to be very dangerous for us survivors uh, when we don't have a home. I guess you could sort of call this our temporary home for okay. the season. And I think like most things in this world, just when you think a place is safe, it proves to be otherwise. We're dead. All of us. What do you think it is about zombies that make them so popular these days? Things are really hard for people, and I think there's a lot of fear, and I think there's a lot of families uniting, and people just kind of struggling to survive, and I think that this show really strikes a chord. Well, here we are at Rick and Lori's tent that they share with their child, Carl. So you can see it's a very lavish space. Uh, we have a double mattress here for both Rick and Lori to share and a single mattress adjacent to that for Carl. Um, they also have a pop-up table, two flashlights, including this hanging lantern. This is a four-star tent. 
We've heard that there's three different types of zombies. Can you explain those to us? Yes, yeah, so most of the zombies that get close to camera mm -hmm. are hero zombies. So they're featured, so they have full custom prosthetics, dentures, contact lenses, hair pieces. We have what we call mid-ground makeups, which are just color. Then we have background, which are masks. So we have about 100 zombie masks. Mm -hmm. And then we have 30 featured and then 30 mid-ground. I think what's kind of cool about this season versus last, I think comes right from the graphic novel, is this year the zombies are dangerous and they are a threat, but what becomes far more dangerous is the evil that exists in the human condition. I think, I think that that becomes far more dangerous than the zombies. I think the zombies become, in a way, something we can kind of deal with. And that's kind of a very dark, twisted idea, but it's very much a part of what we're doing. Get to the RV! This is the RV that they used to get the hell out of Atlanta. In the comic book, it smells like feet. In real life, it smells like feet. Okay, right here we have our countertop. Uh, it's really awesome. It's like dirty. They don't have it as hard as you think. Central air conditioning. Hey, I'm standing in here. This is where Dale gets all of his boom, boom, boom going on. And now your character in the book, it seems like it's about time you get some action going Is it a, on. Has it been like, have people been saying since first yeah. season, like, I hope that kid gets tapped. I The first time I saw your character, I immediately thought that. Right? I was like, okay. he's so stressed, he needs to get laid. Yes. <laughs> I'm a glass half full kind of guy. So you and Rick have gone through this whirlwind bromance. Right on. And how does that affect your relationship in season two? I think at the core, these guys are best friends. I think what happened, happened under super extraordinary circumstances. And um, I just think it's a much more sort of interesting approach um, to say at their core, these guys do genuinely love each other. I think everyone's really just trying to do the right thing yeah. in this crazy, crazy effed up world, you know? And, and uh, I think everyone's just trying to keep themselves and the people that they love safe. Stuff, right? Well, don't think you can just read the book and get all the answers. You're gonna have to find out the good old fashioned way, the TV. So make sure you check out the premiere of season two of The Walking Dead. I just look drunk. Hey guys, it's Nick. Coming up, we got the behind the scenes moment of the week. It's Candace v. Sarah. They're in oatmeal. You're gonna wanna check out what happened when the camera stopped rolling, so stay tuned. By now, everybody knows about League of Legends, the popular free-to-play online RTS game. Enter Dominion, the epic new game-type Riot Games just released. In the biggest League of Legends update yet, you will be summoning your champion to an all-new map, the Crystal Scar. Here, the objective is to control five capture points. The longer your team controls the points, the more damage you deal to the opposing team's nexus. Dominion has a frenetic pace compared to the normal play mode. No monotonous laning phase farming minions. In Dominion, games typically last only 20 minutes compared to the hour you can spend on Summoner's Rift. From the start, it is a mad dash to control the five points. There are new items, buffs, and in-game tweaks such as faster leveling and increased gold to help balance the fast play style. With the new map and objectives come new strategy and tactics. In Dominion, you can always swing the momentum through some clutch teamwork. You can forget about having to type slash surrender. As fun as Dominion is to play, the best part is that it is absolutely free. Download League of Legends now and play Dominion by going to signup.leagueoflegends.com. G4. Am I doing it the right way? No, it's this. G4. 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 Oh. G4. 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 Epictober continues next week on AOTS. Bustus and Power Girl return to save the world from evildoers. And director Roland Emmerich will reveal how Shakespeare was a phony. Plus, we've got Arkham City and Ratchet and Clank in Game Break. Then Blair Butler brings you scoops direct from the New York Comic Con. And in Gadgetpron, we review Apple's new and improved iPhone 4S. Epictober continues next week. Right now, it's time hold for on, our... Candace, Candace, I'm sorry, hold on. It's time for our behind-the-scenes moment of the week. Hey! 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 Hey!
did we learn this week, ladies? Uh, that you can find oatmeal in the strangest of places. <laughs> like my ear. And? Nose. And? Belly button. Other and? places. Butt crack. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it up for Sarah, Candace, and Kevin! Did my boobs come out for any of that? Oh, oh God. We had decided that we were going to pull each other's pops off. That's why we have cute sports bras. Except for I started pulling out her sports bras. No. That wasn't good. Was it fun? What are you doing? I was an angel. You were doing oatmeal angels? I was an oatmeal angel. Oh, gosh. I have oatmeal in my nose. And probably other holes. Thanks. Uh -huh. so so you guys, you guys, <laughs> it looked like a crime scene in here, and then there was yeah. trails of oatmeal through the hallway. Into our dressing room. Disgusting. Room. So, wait, so what did you guys talk about beforehand? Like, were there rules? There, yeah. there were a couple of rules. Yeah. Um, nothing, like, we didn't plan anything out. We just didn't want to hurt our faces. Yeah, because like, it wasn't padded. That red thing wasn't padded. Right. It was hard, and there was a good chance that we could have knocked our teeth out. Yeah. Or... Oh, we were hoping. So we decided yeah. to stay on our knees and in the middle. That was pretty much the only one. <laughs> yeah. Well, that works. Yeah. But what's the stuff about, I'm going to rip, you guys were going to rip each other's oh, socks well, off? Oh, we had cute um, sports bras underneath just in case we wanted to get a hold of each other's shirts yeah. and rip, which but I was trying to do. You were trying she, to do that, but. She but then had a hold <laughs> of my sports bra and was pulling it. No. And I was like, hang on for dear life, thinking, oh my God, we're live. My boobs are about to come out. Okay. Yeah, you would have been real upset about that. By the way, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what's one thing? Live show? It's, no, no, no. Uh, you can't afford the fire. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Pay. I didn't see anything from my perspective. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> you are really creepy. I really did. creepy. <laughs> I did. You um, didn't see anything. I totally did. I did. Uh, no, I absolutely did. did. Hey, yeah. what a week, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I want to thank some people. I want to thank Grace Helbig. Yeah. I want to thank Blair Herder. Yeah. But I want to hand out some super special thank yous to Candace Bailey and Sarah Underwood yeah. for being troopers and making so some of the best fun. damn television I have ever been a part thank of. So you. thank you guys for letting me be a part Karen, of that. Karen, come over here. Get in the you big get in. family. Oh, yeah. <laughs>